Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So, I, I, when you first, I, I'm a Birdman fan, nigga. Like, top of the line Birdman fan. Uh, mm-hmm. I seen him in a couple of places where he, he was out in the crowd. Nigga, he, he don't mind getting out with his people. How how did you and him uh, meet and, you know, how did you, did y'all link up? <clears throat> well, from, um... Uh, London on the track and, and the old management, um, June Jones, they put me in the, they, like, London was working on, um, R- the Ridge Gang album with, uh, like, Thug and, and, and Corn. So they, like, while they was working on that, they just brought me in like a, like a alley-oop, like, just come on, bro, just come down, like, and at first I was like, man... I don't know, bro. Like, I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, this is, it's crazy. Like, I can't believe, like, bro, y'all working with Bird, man. Ah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know. So, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, nerve, like, man, nah, I ain't, I'm all right, man. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? You can't let him see you sweat? Yeah, like, nah, he wasn't even that. It was like, I'm, nah, I ain't ready, bro. Y'all, shit, uh, that's yeah. Bird, man, okay. bro. Gotcha, so, gotcha. when they were like, nah, bro, come on, I'm like, all right, fuck it. Yeah. So, you know, the first time I ever was around, we was at a studio in Atlanta. And I was just kind of sitting back, listening to everybody watching, you know, like, damn, this shit legendary. And then I went to Miami, and they were like, I'm here. You know wow. what I'm saying? So I woke up, and I got involved. I started rapping. I'm in the studio every day doing 15 hours a day. Like, That's no dope, no, no, games. Like, literally, every wake up at 1 o'clock, Lead the next day at one o'clock, like type Work shit. ethics is you gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that and it's true. Then what I hear about them, how they work a lot. Oh yeah, they working. I ain't no bullshit. It's work. It's straight work. It ain't a vacation at no, all. No hell no. That's it, what I always would wonder. How can a man? Um, okay, when you're on your grind and doing all that, working all those hours, especially if you have a family, kids at home, and whatever. How do you balance all of that? I ain't gonna lie. It almost broke me once. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like probably my third money in. Not being home, it probably like I got a, I got a call from my son, and he was like, "Dad, am I ever gonna see you again? Like you've been gone too long." And it fucked me up. I dropped the till. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah. I'm like, damn man, am I doing the right shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how sometimes you feel like you abandon the one thing right. to chase one thing. And I'm a man first. Like I ain't gonna sure. never abandon my children. How old was your son at that time? Oh shit. Uh, I don't even know. Like I wait. Well, 11 now I go back what 5 years probably 4 or 5 years okay so he yeah. was old enough he had to understand yeah but he, he missing the pops man yeah. you know what I'm saying and, and you, if you had already been there and established that relationship and then all of a sudden you had to leave like that yeah that'll, that'll mess up so that. I'm at I was always out of you know what I'm saying yeah. in life I wasn't I wasn't able to do but nigga, the we shit do the best I wanted we can, to yeah, man. Yeah. but I was at active. that time you yeah. was active you feel me and yeah, it fucked me up. It was like, damn, man. I'm and then you know this the this the I got the iPhone and shit. I'm using um what the little apps is uh go, Google Duo or some Duo, shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. FaceTime him on. The, he like, damn, it was oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm trying to be strong, so I'm like, boy, I'm all like I'm crying. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? No, no, soon as I hold up the phone, right? As soon as I hold up the phone, I looked at the studio door, that bitch dropped. Bloop. Oh, said, yeah. Damn, damn, boy. Hey, but, man, that's good stuff right there. And I went back in. Yeah, 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 went yeah. Went back in. But, you know, and, and, and all things work together for the good of them that love yeah, God fact. and call, called according to his purpose. I mean, you doing what you, you walking in purpose, man. Yeah, fact. And that's the whole game. A lot of people don't realize that, man. You got to you gotta do what, you know, God got a plan wrote out for everybody, and you got to walk in your purpose. Yeah, man. you got to, man. Like, you going to get lost. That's right. For that's, sure. That, no, that's some real talk. So, when you was dealing with, uh, with, with and I'm going to get off for this in a second. Did you have, you ever run into Slim when you was dealing with the, with the with the Oh owner? yeah, hell yeah. He was he was pretty much good, involved. Yeah, he yeah. Slim. Good people, ain't he? Yeah, man, good nigga. Goddamn, like when when I seen both of them in there together, like I see Bird and I see Slim, yeah. I'm like, this shit ain't. Whoa, <laughs> say like, man, hell no, man. man. Everybody don't even get to see Slim. Never, you nigga, feel don't I'm you know? Sitting with him playing music, he fucking with my shit, like. Bro, I'm gonna tell you something. I'll be real with you, man. When I think about Birdman and Slim, them man, they like my the Jay Z of the South or the uh, for me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they they paved the way. Them and Jay Prince for the yeah. South, man. And just yeah. the, when it first start to develop, I'm talking about Master P. All of these different guys, man. Uh, when you look at them, they patriarchs. I'm an older cat. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.